let's simplify the best Town Hall 13 attack that you can use with low level heroes and how you can consistently earn 3 stars. What's going on my friends? My name's Corrupt. The Minor Hog Hybrid is the best Town Hall 13 attack that you can use to 3 star bases whether you have low level heroes or you're new and you don't have a Royal Champion or your Royal Champ is upgrading. Now the premise to this attack is very simple. All you want to do is cut the base down into quadrants. You want to try your best to kind of cut through the middle. Other than that though, you want to make sure that you are able to get rid of multiple different structures. The main ones here in this replay being these two, the Eagle and the CC troops. Now if you saw the CC by something like the Town Hall as an example, you should be going in for that instead of the Eagle. So it really depends on what is close by to the CC. Therefore, it's going to make it easier for you to understand where should you send in your Queen Charge and where should you send in the Miners and Hog Riders. So as an example here, getting rid of this top part of the base makes it easier for the hybrid because then all you have to do is look. Can you enter in this direction or this direction? It really depends on where that final key defense, aka the Town Hall, is. And therefore, if it's right in one of these compartments that are, that are kind of in between the two that have arrows, that is going to make it a whole lot easier for you. Pretty much, that's the whole premise of the Queen Charge Hybrid in a simple to understand format. Pretty much what you want to do after this is start by creating the funnel. You are going to be using a baby dragon, and if there is something like the archer here, or the archer tower, that can lock onto something like the queen, you can use a wizard to get rid of this side, and the baby dragon to do the same on the other. That way the queen is forced to go into this area of the base, and since they fix the fact where the queen will no longer just move around it, she will start moving in towards these type of designs, and it'll be less likely for her to walk on the outside. But the main goal here is simple. Get rid of the Eagle Artillery like the attacker did, use a Rage Spell to get through the enemy Queen, and prepare to get through the enemy CC troops, which is the reason why he dropped the Poison doing both damage to the enemy queen and the enemy CC. Now, of course, you don't even need to worry about baby dragon type CCs. If you're seeing electro dragon, headhunters with lava hounds, or any other type of CC, you can easily take care of them with a poison spell. Now, at this stage, you're going to start creating the funnel on the other side with the use of the Siege Barrack and the King. Now, you should have a Siege Barrack at Town Hall 13, but if you're still lower level, you can still receive these from other Town Hall 13s. And you really want to try and take advantage of that, so that way, you're able to create enough of a funnel on either side for your hybrid to start working in. Usually you want to try and to, to identify where is the best spot to use the hybrid, and in this case, Scattershot and two multis are much more priority than going in away from it, therefore making it a little bit trickier. So making sure that you're going in towards the Infernos and towards the Scattershots is exactly what you want. So as you're moving through, you've got the use of your Warden ability, heals, and maybe Rage Spells if you don't need them for the Queen, but you also have the Royal Champion if you have her. A level 6 Royal Champion is more than enough to get through certain types of bases. You do want to make sure that you use the Heal Spells sparingly, so one at the beginning, maybe one in the middle in the core of the base, but you want to save the Warren ability, no matter what level it is, to get through the Giga Inferno. The bomb is still going to deal a thousand damage and it's going to be a big deal, especially later on at level 3 and above where it's going to start slowing your units, mainly the, the Hog Riders. But you want to be able to make sure that you're able to get through. And in this case, he really didn't need the RC ability at all either way. And that pretty much just goes to show that this is a very strong and simple attack. You can even use this with no Royal Champion at all and still earn a triple very, very consistently. If your Royal Champion is upgrading, you can still use the Minor Hawk Hybrid. Again, the same basic rules apply. You want to look at the enemy CC and the Town Hall or Ego Artillery. Which, whichever is closer and easier to get to, in this case, which is the Town Hall. 
Now the main goal here is to create the funnel on one side with the queen charge, siege barrack and the king on the other. That way you're able to send everything in towards the eagle. This includes the town hall, so if the town hall is in the center of the base, you can just easily start working your way in with the hybrid. You just want to be able to make sure that you're creating the funnel on either side so you avoid the split. That's pretty much it after that. So you want to start this by, as, as I've said previously, to create the funnel with the baby dragons or really anything that you can use for funneling. Even a P.E.K.K.A. can be used to do so. But pretty much, you want to be able to make sure that you're creating the funnel, and this is mainly done so you can control where your queen is going to go into. You want to be able to make sure that your queen is moving all the way through the base, making it easier for her to start working towards the town hall. Now, this base does have a level 75 queen, so the attacker here doesn't really need to worry about a low-level queen, but... Of course, if you have a level 65 queen, that's more than enough to get through the starter star levels of the town hall. But pretty much, it's very simple nonetheless. You're going to be able to easily start working your way through, and if you unfortunately activate the town hall with something like a super wall breaker, you may want to use a rage spell and the poison to get through both that and the enemy CC. Now, while you're creating the funnel there, you can still deal with other CCs like the super minions. I did mention dealing with them is not a problem. Just make sure to bring a poison. The headhunters, though, will do massive work along with them, which is the reason why you see them a lot with the super minions. But after that, you can start creating the funnel with the use of the siege barrack and the barbarian king. This is going to be done in order to make sure that you're able to control exactly where everything is going to be going into mainly this direction now if you get lucky and you let your king go right into the into the base to take down the scatter you can easily do that as well with the use of his ability just making it a little bit easier for everything to drive in that way you've got the miners and the hog riders to start working your way in to the base towards the eagle to make it so much easier now usually this is where you would be sending in the royal champion but because you don't have the royal champion, you will still be able to easily move through this without having to worry about it. Even though the scatter shots are level 1 here, it's still very easy and simple to get through this without the need of the royal champion. You've got the use of the heal spells, the free spells, and the warden and eternal tome to get through different splash structures like a back end scatter shot, multi inferno, bomb towers, any sort of giant bombs, you name it and you'll be able to easily continue to work your way through. You may want to use your Warn ability towards the end of it though, so that way you can use a free spell on the last scatter in order to easily move through that and to really save through a lot of your miners and your hog riders to make it simple yet effective for you. And this shows that you can use this without the Royal Champion at all, and along with this, you can use this against more max level bases. You can still hit higher level Town Hall 13s with the use of the hybrid. All you really need to do though is remember, look at the enemy CC and the Eagle Artillery. Now in this case, the Eagle is in the center of the base, so it's not really ideal to charge in towards the CC if you're getting practically nothing. So what do you want to do with this? Well, you want to try and create the funnel on this side with the use of the Queen Charge, and then you're going to use the Siege Barrack and the King on the other to create this part of the funnel. That way, like I've said before, you get everything to move in towards the Town Hall. Now, if you're going in towards the Town Hall, you will need a Warden Eternal Tome for your Hog Riders and your Miners, but you also want to be able to make sure that you're getting through that Giga Bomb. After that point, it's pretty smooth sailing. So you're going to start off with the use of the Electro Dragon, create a little bit of a funnel with that, and along with it, you can go ahead and then use the, that Queen Charge to start working your way in. You can use a Yeti in order to make it a little bit easier for everything to move through. A Yeti is a great choice to create the funnel, but you can also use regular Wall Breakers. You don't always need Super Wall Breakers to get through. Regular Wall Breakers are just as effective. You also want to try and wait on your healers so that way the balloon can soak up any seeking air mines. And if you're going into a single target inferno, the best friend that you have is the free spell. That's it. That's all that you really need to get through singles. So if you're having trouble with charging straight into single target infernos, 
bring a free spell. It's going to help you. Now, along with this, as you're moving into the base, you will want to get deeper in towards maybe the Eagle Artillery, maybe. So, how do you do this? Well, you can use your leftover wall breakers and use that rage spell in order to open up the wall. Now, in this case, how can you lure out the CC? Well, it's very simple. He's, the, he's able to get his queen to step up for the Builder Hut and therefore lures out the enemy CC, taking it down with a poison and also using that rage spell to in order to get through. Now, this is where you would be there would be time to start dropping in your Siege Barrack and the Barbarian King. So you're going to use them in order to create the funnel here to make it simple for your Miners and your Hog Riders. You then want to be able to start sending everything in. Now, since you do have the use of the Royal Champion, it will help you big time as you start moving in towards the Town Hall. So you've got the use of the Warden Eternal Tome in order to easily start moving through. And as the as everything else starts to move this direction, your queen's going to start moving towards the core of the base, since there's no reason to go in for the Town Hall compartment. You may even have some of the Hog Riders actually work themselves into the core to also provide more support to get through the Eagle Artillery, especially if it's in the core. That way you can still easily start working your way through the single infernos. You can use the free spells in order to protect the royal champion from single target infernos if she gets sort of targeted by it. But overall, it's a very simple attack strategy and you could still use this with a level 12 royal champ, level 43 grand warden, level 61 king. You do not need max level heroes just in order to use an attack strategy like this you can easily work through and easily get three stars without really having to break too much of a sweat and that really is all on the you know how you can use this with lower level heroes but what about using this versus a common ring style base if you're also seeing a lot of island bases, you can easily take them on with the use of the hybrid. Now this does use max level heroes, but that should be completely fine because I want to teach you guys the technique of beating these bases, even if you have low level heroes. So pretty much the same basic rules apply. You want to get this CC down. So this means that that is going to pretty much tell you where you should be entering into. If you want, you can successfully charge your way into a multi-inferno, then maybe use a yeti bomb, which is using the battle blimp on a multi or single inferno. That way you cut off that funnel, and therefore you can then send in your hybrid directly towards the town hall. Now, this did not happen in this one. He decided to bring the siege barrack. Pretty much what you want to do is in case your queen does not charge her way in, you can always fix it up. This is, these are very easy bases to fix these type of attacks up. You just want to try and look at it like this. You're going to use the Siege Barrack on one side, and you're going to use the Queen Charge on the other, getting rid of the enemy CC with it. Then you're going to send in everything else, your Miners, your Hog Riders, your Grand Warden, and your Royal Champion directly towards the Town Hall. And of course, this is just by angling it. You want to be able to try and fix the attack on the fly, that way you're able to easily start working your way through. That's pretty simple. So you want to start this by going ahead and creating a little bit of a funnel for the rest of your attack. You're going to start off by using a Yeti in order to help kind of control where the sort of queen is going to be going in towards. Usually you want to try and break her way in, but unfortunately the super wall breaker did not go in that direction. You can still deal with an enemy CC with the use of the poison spell. Even an e drag is far e easier than you think. But other than that, it's very simple. Now, unfortunately here, the queen does not stay over by the multi-inferno for long, and she will start to not really go in the right direction. So you can still fix this attack up by using the siege barrack on the other side. If there's a lot more defenses, like those very, very common island bases, you can still use this very, very carefully in order to still earn a three-star with it. Once she creates a funnel, use the Barbarian King, use the Siege Barrack, because that is going to be enough to create the funnel. Then, you can send in your Miners and Hog Riders directly from the top of the base or from wherever you hit. That way it's easier and therefore you're going to be able to send everything straight through right the way towards the town hall. Very simple stuff. 
Now, of course, this does have the max heroes, like I mentioned, but if you have low-level heroes, this can still work very much so. You just want to be able to make sure that you're using the heal spells at the beginning. In this case, he's able to use the first heal in the core. Then he could use the Warden Eternal Tome to get through the Town Hall and protect the Hog Riders from the Giga Bomb. It makes it a lot easier. Unfortunately, in this case, I believe he was just a little late, so you definitely don't want to be late with your Royal Champ, or both with your Royal Champ or your Grand Warden ability. You want to be able to make sure that you're able to get through without a problem. But you can still see from here, the Rage spell provides a lot of support for the Miners on cleanup, but that pretty much is how, the, how you can take on these type of bases, either if you're maxed or if you have lower level heroes. If you like what you saw here, make sure you subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any informative breakdowns and guides for Clash of Clans. Along with that, make sure you use code CORRUPT in the Clash of Clans shop. I'll be catching you in the next video. CORRUPT, signing out.